Hello and welcome to Quirky Cat Crafts. This is Sherry and I'm ready to make some tiles, guys. You ready? On my um, poker, or not poker, uh, gambling themed mosaic. So um, the first thing I'm going to do is, um, okay, normally with embedded items, I will do, um, like I'll do all the buttons in one color clay, all the metal objects in a different color clay, um, stamped items will go on a third color of clay, because then when you're laying out your mosaic, um, they're going to be evenly spaced if you have them on different colors. You're not going to have all your buttons together if they're all on the same color of clay. But because I'm not using any metal items on this, and it's all buttons, I'm doing the buttons on three different colors of clay. So, and I've decided I'm going to do the dice together as one tile, and then um, the dollar sign. And I'm doing these on the antique gold, and then I'm going to do the four red buttons on the black and gold glitter, and the four black buttons on the red glitter. So, that is, that is the plan. And then that way, they will be evenly spaced out. So, so that's what we're doing first here. So, like I said, I'm starting with the dollar sign and the dice. And I line my blade up with the middle of the dollar sign. And then line it up with one of my grid lines. So that it's going to be even. Or as close to even as you can get it when you're eyeballing it. So, oh, I need to take a little more off that, I can tell. Anyway, so, did everybody have a good Thanksgiving? I hope you did. Um, I was supposed to be working, and unfortunately, um, the load that I was supposed to take on to... St. Louis got snowed in in Colorado, so I got canceled, and so I didn't have any plans, um, and I needed to go to uh, the pharmacy and pick up some prescriptions, and so I called and made sure they were open, which they were, and then I thought, well, let's see what restaurants might be open serving Thanksgiving dinner, and there was a Bob Evans near me. That um, was serving, you know, your traditional turkey stuffing, mashed potatoes and gravy, green beans, and cranberry sauce, and dinner rolls, and pumpkin pie. And so I placed an order and went to go pick it up, and bless their hearts, those people were working their tails off in there. And something I don't have any patience for is, I guess, like rudeness and ungrateful people and there were a lot of people in there yelling at the employees the the cashier was a an elderly lady that was about in tears and I wasn't going to tolerate that and so I just started talking to her about how I was thankful that I didn't have to cook and I didn't have to worry about cleaning up a big mess in my kitchen afterwards and that I was grateful that they were sacrificing their holiday to make the holiday easier on a lot of other people. And basically was just shaming a lot of these people that were yelling. Um, a few of them actually ended up apologizing. Some of them sadly did not. But I'm always going to say something if I see that kind of behavior. That's why it's a good thing I work as a truck driver because... It's a little less stringent on, I don't know, keeping your mouth shut. <laughs> Something I am not good at, keeping my mouth shut. I just, I, I don't tolerate it. So anyway, so I gave her a tip, cash tip, and a hug. And she said she was more grateful for the hug than she was for the money. 
So, she said she didn't have any family nearby to spend Thanksgiving with. So, she was in there working her tail off. Bless her heart. But anyway, and it was an excellent dinner. I brought it home and I had a quirky cat on each armrest of the recliner. and So it was one bite for me and one for you and one for me and one for you. And they enjoyed it as well. So, so that was my Thursday and then back to work yesterday, which was actually a pretty smooth day, all things considered. Of course, by the time I go, you know, I don't leave out until about six o'clock in the evening. And by then most people were Black Friday shopping out. So there was, there was traffic in the cities, but once I got out of the cities, it wasn't too awful bad. So, um, so yep. And then now I don't plan on leaving the house the rest of the weekend. I don't like shopping. I don't really have anyone to shop for. Um, I just give cash to my nieces and nephews. So, so I don't really worry about it. I saw something on the news about Amazon workers going on strike. So I don't know if that's going to improve. The lack of freight situation. Because maybe more people will be going and shopping at Walmart or Target or whatever their retail preference is. And so maybe, maybe freight will pick back up because it's been really slow. I only worked three days out of five last week. And so anytime I miss a day, it costs me about $200. So... Too many of those start getting bunched together and then I start having to dip into my savings to cover the monthly bills. But I am not complaining. I am thankful that I have a job that I enjoy and that pays well and that allows me the extra money to buy the crafty stuff. So, so I am grateful for that. So, and then when I got back Saturday morning and I went to feed the yard cats, actually, I don't know if you, how well you can see it, I have a little puncture wound there, and it's kind of bruised around it. Boy, I need to put lotion on my hands. Um, one of the cats, who I call uh, m, m also known as Mama, uh, I don't know what, she. she's not one I can pet. She's, she'll come running when called and she'll eat with me right there. But if I try to like reach out and touch her, she freaks out. So she's pretty feral and I don't know. So I'd given her canned food and she was happily munching away. And I started throwing handfuls of dry food out and I don't know if I spooked her or if she wanted dry food right away or what, but she just smacked the back of my hand and it didn't even really hardly bleed, but then the next day it was swelled up so bad I was about to go to the doctor because I was afraid it might become infected. So, um, yeah, I'm sitting here yammering about my life and not even talking about what I'm doing. So that was the red glitter clay that I did those last four buttons on. And then this is the, the black clay with the gold glitter. And... I'm using that for the red. I was going to do white, but I want to use the white to stamp on. And so, and then also the card, the playing cards wouldn't show up as well on the white. So, um, and then I thought about doing the red on the red and the black on the black, but then the suits, the hearts, diamonds, spades, and clubs wouldn't show up very well. So, Played with a lot of different ideas until I figured out what I was going to do. So I don't know yet what I'm going to end up putting the attaching the stickers to that I picked out. Um, I did switch the dice 
to the realistic set, the set. Um, I just decided I like them better than the glitter ones, so. But I don't know yet for sure what I'm going to attach the stickers to. I'm possibly chipboard that I might paint. It just, I don't know, you guys. So I figured I would get these tiles done and start getting them laid out a little bit and kind of get a tentative laid out, layout going. And then that would give me an idea of what color or colors I should attach the stickers to. So um, as soon as I get the rest of these trimmed, I'll show you the what the substrate's going to be. So anyway... I don't know. As I've said in previous videos, I'm new to this whole YouTube video thing. and I don't know. People may not want to sit and listen to me ramble and just watch me do this. It might be boring, but um, the advice I was given is, you know, do what you love and people will either watch or they won't, so... Hopefully people are watching and enjoying and maybe picking up a few tips and tricks as well. So, because really my goal is just I take so much joy and relaxation from this hobby that I just want to spread the joy. I just want to spread the joy and spread the happy. That's my goal. So, um, and then I've thought about just doing like, okay, this video is going to be all embedding and this video is going to be all painting and this video is going to be all stamping, but, and I may on occasion do those kinds of videos, but, you know, generally it's just, let's, uh, you know see the project from beginning to end and then that pretty much covers everything right right so um garfield's in here snoring away i can hear him it's raining outside right now so but since i'm not planning on leaving the house this weekend it doesn't really matter it can rain all at once so Let it rain. And I would rather have rain than snow. Thank you very much. We had a few cold days, but now we're back up in like the 50s. A couple of days where it might even hit the 60s. So. I'm enjoying that. That's for sure. So. Alright. So there's what we got so far. And so now I want to stamp out um, the decorative symbols. And I tried it out on paper first so that I didn't waste clay. And it came out pretty well. And we're going to do it on white glitter. So, and I'm of course going to do red for the red suits and black for the black um this ink is archival ink um, by ranger and it's called red Ger Ger wow red geranium and so it's the the closest to true red that i have so just making sure i get all the little nooks and grannies Okay. See how this comes out. Even pressure. I don't want to do too much pressure. I don't want it too squished in. Yep. Beautiful. Don't you guys think? I think that's beautiful. Okay. Clean the stamps. 
with the baby wipes. Because baby wipes are dun dun dun, dun crafter and best friend. True story. I would not lie to you. Oh, yeah, I forgot I was going to show you the substrate. Mm. Here, real quick. So this is the picture frame. I don't know yet if I'm going to do it this way or this way. Because it has stand on the back and you can do it either way. And it can also be hung either way. Um, and I also don't know yet what color I'm going to paint it. But I'm thinking about gold because... I'm not using a whole lot of gold clay. So I'm thinking about gold. That's what I'm thinking. So that's where my brain is at at the moment. So let's release from the tile and get these cut out. And I could have done these on straight white and I could have done these on white pearl. But I'm just, I'm drawn to the glitter, you guys. I don't know. I can't help it. So, sorry if my head's in the shot. I'm lining up the blade with the center. And that's got me lined up with the grid lines, so... So, yeah, and then Christmas and New Year's this year falls on the weekend. And I'm happy about that for two reasons. One, hopefully that means we won't get canceled. And we'll be able to actually work the full week. Because usually, you know, there's no freight and things are closed, so... Christmas Eve and Christmas Day and New Year's Eve and New Year's Day, even though we're available to work, it's just a question of whether there's freight available for us to to take. And in the years where sometimes you have two weeks in a row where you only run three days each week, and that happening right at Christmas time really kind of stinks. So, anyway... I really like these stamps. There's a little heart at the bottom, so that indicates that this is the top, so that's good to know. Anyway. And then after this gambling-themed one, the next one is just kind of an outdoors. Um, moose, bear, deer, mountains, trees, that kind of thing. So, and that's going to be a picture frame as well. So it'll be the same type of picture frame that I'm using for this one. And I believe I bought those picture frames at Joann's. I think. Well, no, those might be Michael's. I'm not sure. Um, I wait till they're on sale. My favorite four-letter word, sale. And then I pick up a few and stock up, so. Um, I've said in previous videos that this is a, actually the master bedroom in, the, in my townhome. But, um, so it has a walk-in closet. And I've got all kinds of shelving units in there that the closet is all just strictly my substrates, boxes, frames, the hanging chalkboards, just various different this, that, and the others. So, that'll be part of my craft room tour video that I will get around to doing at some point. Alright, so now we got the spades and the clubs, clubs I guess. And, of course, we're going to do those in black ink. Okay, 
good coverage. And again, with the even pressure, but not pressing too hard. I don't want it to embed too much. Perfect. I'm pretty happy with those, you guys. What do you guys think? I think they're pretty cool. So, yeah, I actually had somebody asking about my stickers um, in the comments. I'm going to cough, you guys. I'm sorry. <coughs> Still not quite over whatever that was I had a couple weeks ago. Um, a couple of years ago, not last Christmas, but the year before, um, my Michaels was revamping their sticker section. They were seriously paring down um, their sticker aisle. And they had tons of stickers that were on clearance for like 60 cents that were regular like $4.99. So I actually, um, I live in Kansas City and I got yelled at for this when I commented about it, about not leaving supplies for others. But um, I went to every Michaels in Kansas City and bought them out. Like literally, I think I spent a couple hundred dollars that weekend, but I've got stickers to last me probably the next 20 years <laughs> and in every theme imaginable. So, um, even themes that I didn't think I would ever use cause you just never know what someone might ask for. And I'm not really like an up and running business or anything like that. You guys, this is just, um, just a hobby. And you know, occasionally I'll have someone contact me and ask if I can do something in a certain theme or whatever. And, I do so and basically charge for my supplies and and then basically I round up so you know like if a button set was you know $3.99 plus tax it's gonna be four something so I round up to five dollars that's how I do my pricing and I've been yelled at for that also that people that rely on their art for their livelihood feel like I'm, you know, undercutting on prices or whatever, but I don't even really, I mean, it's pretty much just custom designs. I have a few that I made just for the fun of it. And I actually put them out there on a Facebook marketplace for sale and they didn't sell. They've been out there for a couple of years. So, um, anyway, so, so there we go with the, those four suits. I really like those. And then I wanted to do, um, this one strip. And I also want to do the dice off of this. So. I'm not going to do the playing cards because obviously it should be red and black. And I can't do red and black in the same. I mean, I'm sure there's probably a way to do it, but I'm not that coordinated, so. And so we're going to get a little bit of the white glitter and just do a couple of dice. And then we're going to get them in the oven and go from there. So, all right. And the dice are going to be black. I'm just going to do it as one. <clears throat> so. 
one, uh, one tile. Golly, you guys. Yeah, now, nouns are escaping me today. So. All right. And then. Let's cut these out. I still don't know what I'm going to attach the stickers to. I'm really. I think I need to get these baked. And get them laid out on the frame and get the frame painted. So if I'm going to do the frame in gold, then I don't want to use gold for the background of the stickers. I, I thought about green, but it was just too much. Green. And then I thought about white. I don't know. thought about black. Might do black, since if I'm going to do the frame in gold, I might do black. So there's my um, snake eyes. Dice. Yep. So, um, just making a little more room on the tile here. Okay. And then I think I want to do the, oops, um, this one that I, I really feel like it looks like poker chips, but I noticed Poker chips are generally like one color and white, like red and white or blue and white or green and white. So I'm just going to do on uh, the white and I'm going to do red. Uh, I don't think this is big enough. Well, if I go at an angle, it is. Ha ha. And so we're going to do it on white glitter instead of doing it on colored clay. So, um... Since I only have the two embedded tiles on the gold clay, I think I might use that for hand painted and just do like golden black. Maybe golden red, probably golden black. So, um, I don't know. I'll have to think on that. All right, let's see how this comes out. I have no idea. I haven't ever used this stamp. I think those look like poker chips. Let's do another row. And that'll be one of my filler options. There we go. Should I do some in black too? do gold also. I don't know if poker chips come in gold. But I think that might actually be interesting. I have gold ink. So I could do gold and black and then have the variety. Should I take the line off and just have the poker chips or should I leave the line on? I'll leave the line on for now, and then if I need to trim it down to fit into spaces, I'll have the room to do so. So, anyway, this one might be done this weekend. I don't know. Just depends. I forgot to take meat out of my freezer before I went to bed this morning, so when I got up, there wasn't anything defrosted for me to cook for dinner. Or breakfast, or whatever you want to call it, but it was dinner-type food. Um, so I ended up just doing um, white rice and canned chicken and cream of mushroom soup, which is kind of almost like a comfort food for me. It just, yeah. So I had some of that and 
watched a couple of uh, episodes of Little House on the Prairie on one of my streaming options that I have. I don't have cable TV anymore. Um, not home often enough to warn it, you know. I mean, I'm out driving all week. So it was like, why am I paying $200 a month? And, and then I wasn't really watching anything anyway, so. So I got rid of it. And I'm much happier. So. Alright. I think we're going to do a couple strips of gold and a couple strips of black. And then I need to turn my computer on and go check my Quirky Cat Facebook page. I haven't been on it in a few weeks because of feeling ill, so... Hopefully nobody's been sending me messages over there. I haven't gotten any notifications in my uh, email, so I don't think I'm missing much. But, but that's okay. So, yeah, I had somebody ask if I was making money off my YouTube videos, and I was like, no. I didn't even know you could. And then I looked into it. And you gotta have. A thousand subscribers. And I'm not anywhere near that. And. So. Like no. I'm just. Having fun. Making videos and having fun. And. Hopefully entertaining others. I hope I'm entertaining you guys. I mean if you're still sitting here watching. I. Assume I must be doing something right. All right, let's do a couple of strips of gold. Let's see how the gold comes out. All right, something different. If I had a primary green, I would do a primary green, but I don't have a primary green. I have like a lime green. And then a kind of a green, but it's got kind of a bluish tint to it, so. Anyway, so there's gold, and then I want to do a couple strips of black. Anyway, I don't even know if I finished my sentence. So I made some white rice and canned chicken and cream of mushroom soup and enjoyed that and gave Garfield a little bit of lap time. And then when he got down, I came up here. And there's the black. Which may or may not get used. You just never know. And another row of black. Here we go. Poker chips. I don't know. They kind of look like poker chips to me. Clean the stamp. Putting it back so that I don't lose it. And I think that's it for the stamp sets. Oh, I did have that little money symbol. I forgot about it. Kind of rolled away. That would really need to be green. 
Guess I can try this green, see how it looks. Wait. Oh, I do have green in this little... This came in a box of stamps that I bought. I don't know if it is, even works, but... Oh, no! Not too bad. Can you believe I just did that, you guys? I can't believe I just did that. Got a little bit of red and a little bit of green, but I don't think it's that noticeable. And I'm not even sure if I'm going to use the gold ones anyway, so... And I can just cut around it, so... Anyway, wow, that was great, right? That was a little klutzy. Got the dropsies. So anyway, um, this is green, so I don't know how if this is still going to work, but let's give it a try. Yeah, it's still, still got ink. Let's see how it stamps out. Hmm, okay. Do a couple of those. Might have little spaces I need to fill in and so I'll just tuck them in here and there. Do like four of them. So you just never know. Never know what you're gonna end up using and what's gonna end up working and it's going to end up not working, so. Here we go. I wish I could do green on that. For it to make green poker chips, but I just don't see how I can make that happen, so. Yeah. I need to get a dark green ink, ink pad at some point. Note to self. So, all right. I need a second pile of rings. Uh oh. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm sorry, you guys. But anyway, so yeah. I think this is going to be a cute project when it's all done. I have a lot of gambling stuff because my, my little brother likes to play poker. And so I've done him a few. Like I did a wood box for him to keep his decks of cards in. And got actually another one in progress for him that is uh, just to keep the money in. Because like he'll have a bunch of, a bunch of friends over to play poker and they you know buy in and then the cash goes in the box and then at the end of the night they cash out so but I got started on other things and so I set that aside Which is never a good thing for me, because when I set things aside, then I tend to not finish them. I lose the, uh, the motivation and the inspiration and the joy of it. You know, like if, I'm, if I don't get something done over the weekend and I have to come back to it the next weekend. Sometimes it's not easy. Like I'll be driving the truck and thinking about things and... Kind of overwhelming myself, so. But now that I've started doing videos, I'm actually, I think that's going to keep me uh, motivated to finish. So. so, see, you guys are a good influence on me. So, anyway, back to, yeah, I'm jumping all over the place today. Sorry, guys. So, when I went to go feed the cats this morning, and so there was Mama Cat, and then Midnight, the Black Cat, and 
Those are the only two I've been seeing here lately. And then a few raccoons. And then this morning, I saw movement behind the fence. It's just a like a six foot tall chain link fence. And I saw white. And I'm like, well, there aren't any white cats around here. What am I looking at? And I took a couple more steps to get a better angle. And it was a possum. So, eating the dry cat food I had dumped out on the ground. And he, she, it just kind of looked at me. And I was like, well, yeah, carry on. Enjoy. So, I've had a, a skunk show up every once in a while. I love the way they walk. They're like little waddle, waddle, waddle. And I just told uh, the skunk, Peppy, you know, you can help yourself as long as you don't spray me, we're good. And I just look at me and go right back to eating the cat food. So, and the birds eat it. So, I'm feeding raccoons, possums, skunks. Probably squirrels, I don't know. Definitely mice and rats, I'm sure. But, I want to make sure the cats get their share as well, so. What do you think of my little stacks of money here? Kind of liking it. I'm glad I saw that little part of green on that stamp. See, that's why you got to go through everything and you never know what you're going to find that's going to work with the project you're working on. So, but for me to go through everything would take like three days in and of itself. So I have way too much stuff, you guys, not even kidding. Way too much. Well, I don't know about too much, but, um, but here's the deal with the stamps. Stamps are like a reusable resource, okay? You can use them over and over and over again. Whereas buttons and stickers, once you use it, it's gone. So I do have a lot of stamps and I've purged several times, but I do have a lot of stamps. So, all right, so oopsie, got those and got these. So far, liking it. And I had said I was thinking about doing something with the gold. And I just got an idea. See, this is what happens when you start thinking. I'll show you in just a second what I thought of. I'll run this through. So, got some air bubbles. I have a rolly wheel that kind of resembles a dollar sign. kind of kind of like a dollar sign let's see what it wow not really rolling very well there we go no there we go okay Let's see. That's kind of neat. I'll need to rub it with a mica powder. To 
figure out what color I want to rub it with. Probably white. Probably like the white pearl, I think. We can do another one. Okay. I don't know. I don't know if I want to do white or if I want to just do a lighter gold. I don't think green would look right. I'm not feeling green as an option. Think white. No, actually, I think I'm going to do a different color of gold, like a, a lighter gold than what the clay is. That's what I think. Okay, so I've mentioned with the pearlized clay that you've got to make sure it blends really well, otherwise, you end up with these kind of streaks. So, and that it'll still show up after baking. So, you got to keep running it through and changing it, turning it to get it blended. See how it's blending better now? One more time. this oh for Pete's sake sticky sticky clay gotta get it straight it's not straight before you bake. It's not going to be straight after you bake. True story. I don't know how well this will cut after baking. Well, it is a primo, so it should cut okay. So we're going to bake it as strips. All right. I think a, a lighter gold. What do you guys think? Just a subtle. It'll just be like a subtle contrast. That's what I think. All right, let me see what I got. Solar gold. That's orange. We don't want orange. 
that's green. <laughs> Aztec gold. Hmm. This is kind of orangey. This is more yellow. We're going to go with the solar gold. All right. Let's see how this comes out. I'm just curious. Am I even in the shot? Yep. Okay. All right. A little bit of the powder out. Put it in the lid. Remember, you get it on your finger, but then you need to tap to get the loose stuff off. Because you do not want the loose stuff to fall down into the design. Oh my, look at this, you guys. That is pretty, pretty. What do you think? I like it. And it doesn't need to actually be dollar signs. It's just kind of a similar shape to a dollar sign. It gives the idea. Because this is just filler. To fill in background. So it doesn't need to be. An exact representation. Kind of liking it, you guys. I'm just curious. How does it look with the slot machine sticker? Look at that, you guys. That's a perfect match. Yep, this was the right choice to make. Thank you for everybody that was yelling and screaming at me and telling me to go gold. I heard you. I did. I heard you guys. I did hear you. I was listening. All right. So I am going to get these into the oven and get them baked. And I'm going to get the frame painted. Still feeling like gold is the way to go. Although now I'm thinking black since I have this gold stuff. I don't know. I gotta think on that a little bit more. But I will make a decision and get it done. And the next video will be um, attaching the stickers once I figure out what I'm attaching them to. And then we're pretty much gonna be ready to start laying it out, I think. Not a whole lot left to do on this one. So, because I'm going to go into um, my ready-made. These aren't going to fit on the baking tile. tile. I'm going to have to cut those. <laughs> um, <coughs> excuse me. My ready-made stash of fillers. And pull out some of those to use as well. And I've got some red glitter tiles, like the ready-made ones. So, I'm sure 
Here, I'll use those. So, coming together, you guys. Coming together. I'm just going to do this last one real quick, and then I'm going to bring the tiles back in here so you guys can see what we got done. All right, so here's what we got so far. Perfect, in the shot, yay. All right, so I'm gonna get these in the oven and um, continue figuring stuff out. And like I said, when I come back, um, it'll be to attach the stickers to whatever I decide I'm gonna attach the stickers to. And then we'll start getting it laid out. That's it for now. Thanks so much for watching.